Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to be reviewing the Marvi Uchida Color In Markers. And as you can see I have a lot of these markers. I even have a few duplicates. And that is not because I bought a huge pack. That's just because I keep buying different packs because I love them so much. So if you did not know that already I will not make you wait this whole video to find out my opinion. I really like these brush markers. And part of the reason why is that they are super flexible and super bouncy. So you can see in this clip where I'm holding my clipboard up to my camera, I'm pushing pretty hard on this brush pen. And it's kind of flattening out, almost like I'm drawing with the complete side of it. You do not have to push that hard if you don't prefer. But I just really like that with this brush marker, I can get really thick down strokes and then it bounces right back up for a thin upstroke. I originally purchased this brush pen pack kind of on a whim. I was just walking around the store and grabbing a bunch of things that were labeled brush marker and I was very pleasantly surprised when I tried this one and it became kind of one of my go-to brush markers. You'll notice that I'm getting a bit of that ombre effect as well. If you've watched my Tombow video, you know that I talked a little bit about how that happens and um, that makes sense with these markers because I am pushing pretty hard and getting that really thick downstroke, but it doesn't seem to happen with every single color. That's one thing I've kind of noticed with these brush pens is that they aren't super, super consistent, but I will get into that in a minute. As you can see, these are not water resistant, so just keep that in mind if that is something you're looking for. I am going to go ahead and swatch the colors that I have, but I wanted to show you something about that inconsistency that I mentioned. This is not a huge deal, but sometimes I'll notice that one feels just a bit different than the others. And I've noticed that the tips of these markers can kind of tend to be pulled out a little bit. So you can see that the one on the left just seems to be pulled out a little bit more than the one on the right. And you can see that little indent of where the marker should be going into the body of the marker. So I would just try to use something to gently push that back in. Maybe I'd wrap a piece of paper around it and just kind of push it back in. But that's just something I've noticed about these brush pens is that sometimes I'll feel like one is a little bit funny and I notice it's pulled out a little bit. As I'm swatching these, um, just keep in mind that I have bought several packs before. I will leave a link for these below, but I think I've bought the Naturals pack, the Brights, and the Pastels. And then there's one that's, I think, like primary colors, and I haven't purchased that one yet. But I have liked different pens within each of the packs. I didn't think that I would like the pastels that much, but they ended up being really pretty. So if I can find the hauls where I purchased those individually, I will leave a link in the description box below. And I will leave a timestamp so you can see where I swatched out each individual pack. I have noticed over time that these brush pens have frayed, and it's hard to tell if they're getting like less vibrant or if that's just really extreme differences between certain colors because I know in the Brights pack some of them are very dark and vibrant, but then in the Naturals pack they just have a different look. They're just more of a muted tone, so it's hard to tell if that's because the marker is getting worn down or if that's just the way that they came. But overall, I think there are a lot of really unique color options, and that's one of the things that draws me to this marker set. These markers are blendable, and they are not water resistant, so that is something to keep in mind. But overall, I really like these markers. I've used them in a lot of videos. I've gotten a lot of comments and questions about them. And I just think that they're a really great marker if you are somebody who likes a very bouncy brush pen. If you're not and you like a firmer marker like the Artline Sticks or maybe even the Crayola marker, these might not be your favorite. But if you have a heavy hand and you don't want to feel like you're crushing your brush pen, then this might be a great option for you because it is very flexible and very bouncy. If you are looking for more pen reviews, I will leave a link in the description box below for my brush pen reviews. Or if you like stationary hauls, I will leave a link below for a playlist of my hauls. And I will see you in my next video.